Well, we're partners with uh, those tech companies, and not just the six you. It's Apple, it's Microsoft, it's Adobe, it's Oracle, it's Salesforce, it's IBM, SAP, Pinterest, Twitter, Snap, uh, Samsung, uh, LG, uh, or Spotify, Netflix. These are all companies that we work with, and our responsibility or our the thrust of our activity is to understand those 20 or so companies, how they work, and how our clients should distribute their budgets between the hardware, software, and the platforms. On this question of scale and power, look, I, I think the companies do understand, you saw it when they, they went before Congress, they do understand that when you, when you, when you gain a trillion dollar market cap, despite all the, the falls that we've seen in tech in the last few days, when you, when you win that, that scale, there's responsibility that comes along with the power. And I think they're starting to understand that their market position and what they have to do with the regulator. But I think you have to be very careful, uh, Steve, about what you do. What people forget is Google, Facebook, Amazon, that, and I'm put, including the Chinese. And Jack Ma always makes this point about Alibaba, it's true of Tencent, and to a lesser extent, maybe TikTok. These are the engines of growth of small companies. 60, 70, maybe even more, 70, 75% of the advertising revenues of Google, Facebook, Amazon come from the small businesses. Be careful what you wish for, that we're all looking for jobs, unemployment or employment, post the furloughs here in the UK in the next quarter or so. That will be a critical issue. These platforms are a driver of small business, SMB, small, medium-sized business employment. If they come under pressure and fail or whatever, if they're put under undue pressure, that will reduce their power in generating employment. So I think you have to be careful about the regulation and we'll see how it develops over time. Certainly look at Australia. The ACCC is putting uh, Google and Facebook in particular under very heavy pressure. We have to see how that develops, whether it does develop and how it spins out into other markets. But you know, GDPR, Steve, didn't really have the positive imp impact that the regulator wanted. It didn't even the playing field, it, playing field, it didn't level it out. What it did, it made the bigger companies even more powerful because the small and medium-sized companies said, it's too complicated, we're not going to compete on this basis. So uh, I think those whoppers, and we were referring to whoppers in the case of clients, these are clients that account for more than 5% of our revenues, and Google is one of them. There's a we have an NDA with a well-known other tech company, but people can guess who it is. It's in the telecommunications area. But we anticipate that we will have another couple of whoppers in fairly short order uh, in other categories, in other verticals, uh, as I would say, as we go into Q3 and Q4. And we've set this target of 20 squared, which we want to have 20 whoppers. That's companies that account for more than 5% of our revenues, so about $20 million a year of revenue. And we think we have a very good shot at developing a very strong roster of those.